What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. I'm over here with Luke, Hugo and Gus and we're going to put to the test dog gadgets. Normally I make this kind of videos on my pet channel but I want to give my pet channel a shout out. So if you want to see videos with Luke, Hugo and Gus, please go subscribe to the channel. I post pretty much every single day, probably like six times a week. So please go subscribe to that channel if, if you want to see cute fun videos with my dogs. They do a lot of funny stuff. So I'll put links in description for that. So today we're going to put to the test five dog gadgets. So let's see what I got. Look, every time I open the car, Luke gets super excited. So is Gus, but Luke is excited even more. Alaska Malamut Gus does not care at all. These huskies just have a lot of energy. So we'll see if this anxiety vest actually going to help. Because look how much anxiety they got just because I pulled up a car. Because they're so excited to go. So let's stay out anxiety vest because every time I need to separate Luke or Hugo they go so upset about it. Here, you can take the box. I don't need the box. I wonder if it will be too big for Luke. So, you stretch it out right here, and then another flap goes around here. Actually, this way. Stay. Stay. Okay, there is a multiple way to do it. Stop it. Okay, you put this on and you want to do it. Okay, you put this side on first not too tight and then this flap down okay let's see if it's going to help you with the anxiety I don't know if this anxiety vest actually helping much because <laughs> as you can see he have plenty of anxiety right now look no that's enough that's enough. Well, you see, you come down. But as you can see, that anxiety vest does not really do much. Now that they are together, check it out. They don't even have that much anxiety, even if the gas is not there. Honestly, guys, obviously, that anxiety vest don't work on Luke. He's going to be hyper and excited, just like a regular husky. Maybe it will work on different breeds, but on the huskies, it does not work. Alaskan Malamut don't even have anxiety. I'm sure he does, but it's more like a temper tincture. I don't know if it works a little better for Hugo. It fits really good, but let's see if he's going to jump and be hyper anyways. He seems pretty hyper anyways, even though he have that jacket on. Yeah, look at his anxiety, more than any other dogs. Luke honestly have less anxiety now that I took it off. <laughs> look at him jump, so yeah. For the next gadget I got here, Slingshot Ball Launcher. I saw this on Amazon a long time ago. This tennis ball, you put it in here, it's kind of hard to put it in. Guys, come on. Get a ball. Wow, it shoots pretty far. I didn't even stretch it out that far. Look at him go. Come on, bring the ball. Ball. Okay, let's do this one more time. Gus, you ready? Gus. Wow, it shoots the ball far. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Find it. He runs kind of funny. Go get the ball! Why are you coming back without the ball, you funny dog? Go get it! And let's do this one more time. Gus, ready for the ball? This time I hit it onto the ground, so that way it goes 
side to side and that way he chases it. That's awesome. Looks like this is actually works pretty good. I like it. This side here, slow feeding ball. My dogs don't really eat that fast, but it wouldn't be a bad thing if they eat a little slower. As you can see, those little bumps right here, he can really grab onto it. He actually have to use his stone to get those things out. And he'll eat a lot slower. It's probably going to take him like 10 minutes to eat that. But again, this is for a smaller dog. I made a mistake when I ordered it. I was trying to buy a big ball. This is a tiny one. So as you can see, he barely can take it out, so he will have to eat slowly. What? You confused? Here. Eat it. So definitely thumbs up for me for this ball. I probably need just a little bigger one. Actually a lot bigger one for my giant Alaskan Malamut. <laughs> He's like, I'm tired. I'm gonna lay down and eat it. What, are you not hungry? Fine. This gadget right here is a guard for your dog to jump over on the front seat while you're driving, you know? It could be dangerous. So let's see if we're actually going to work with my dogs. So you open it up like that. Oh wow, that's a big one. I didn't expect for it to be that big. So it's going to go around the seats like that and there's a buckle. You just put it to and it's going to sit a little tight. It seems to be very, very um, lightweight and doesn't take too much space. So I can just leave it in a car and use it whenever I have to. Because I don't want my dogs to jump over while I'm driving on a highway. It could be dangerous. So I just put them in and first thing they were trying to do is get on the front seat. So what I'm going to try to do is entice him to get in the front again. Luke, come on, up, up, come on, up. Luke, up, come on, up, come <laughs> up. Yeah, so that did not work that much. I mean, he probably would not go through if I didn't entice him, but as you can see, he powered through this little thing anyways. So, uh, if you have big dogs, once again, this might not work. For some dogs, looks like you got being a good boy. Okay, Luke, go back. Go back, come on, jump. Jump, come on. So yeah, as you can see, this Ned is kind of a fail. So I'm gonna leave them and see if he's gonna jump over to the front anyways. I mean it works to some extent though. As you can see Hugo trying to get through here instead. So yeah, it definitely works for sure. But if you're gonna get super excited, he'll just power through this thing. Just consider your dog. If your dog's super hyper and can do anything, this thing might not work. But for Hugo and Gus, I think it will work. They don't usually jump in front that much. But Luke, I think 50% of the time it will stop him to jump in the front. For the next dog gadget, this is 4-in-1 dog leash. Let's open it up, see what it's all about. So this is what it looks like when it's all put together. Not bad, right? So you press it here to pull it out. And then you have here a little water bowl. A really, really tiny one. So. Again, looks like for smaller dogs, not like Alaskan Malamutes or anything like that. Because it's barely any water for them. And right here you open it up and you got right here little plastic bags to pick up the waste that the dogs make. And then you can take one out, put this one back in and close it. Again, this is good and cool, but in my opinion that leash, first of all, can break off if you're going to put a really, really big dog on it. Especially those retractable pieces, it, the big dog can break off this whole system and then it's gonna keep retracting to, unless you grab the actual leash and stuff like that. So I don't usually like retractable leashes for the big dog. I like it for smaller dogs instead. I really like that leash. If you live in a city and you gotta pick up the mess, 
you always can take off this plastic bag grab it don't have to forget plastic bags ever again and also if you go for long walks you can also water your little dogs but again i wouldn't use that leash for big dogs like huskies or especially alaskan malamutes well guys that's pretty much it let me know in comments below what do you think about this video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you next time